Hi guys, welcome back to the Mazda Miata 5 cylinder build. Today we're getting rid of this piece of junk. <laughs> well, it's the, the original clutch Mazda cylinder. Later on in the video, we'll be making the hydro eBay brake uh, for the new system because I'm already doing the lines uh, to the back of the car. So, might as well do an e brake whilst I'm at it. Let's get started. For the clutch, this is the original Miata slave cylinder or muscle cylinder and um, it has the wrong piston size for the BMW slave cylinder. So what we ended up uh, choosing is to go with this uh, Land Rover muscle cylinder, uh, which uh, is nice because it has an internal reservoir and it's around the same style, like it's uh, with the flange and everything. And originally when you take off the muscle cylinder from the Miata, you get this uh, shaft which uh, screws onto the pedal and uh, we're gonna make it fit with a little plate which is Thijs making it right now and um, it's basically gonna be a plate that bolts up to this and makes two new studs because the pattern on these is different this one the Land Rover one is like straight up and the original Miata one is at an angle so that way we're gonna uh, position it nicely and get it mounted up and we can always adjust it with the uh, with this uh, piece and it got it to size as well. the new master cylinder it's a Land Rover unit and I made a little adapter plate which you just saw uh, that adapts it to the Miele chassis and I will be welding on the stud from the back so uh, this will serve as an adapter let's stack it in This one is the original Miata one. You can't really see it, but in, internally the bore size is different to this one. Uh, and the Land Rover one matches the diameter of the original BMW one. I didn't choose the BMW one because it has a um, plastic housing, no internal reservoir, and the mounting is right there instead of the flange type, which this is way easier to produce and make uh, fit my car. This is the master cylinder, now all bolted up, right there. Fits really nicely and below in the car. I'll show you right there. You can see it poking out 
and originally the clutch pedal has a little hole right there with this uh, rod coming out and I measured it and I'm gonna be cutting a bit off and making a little shaft that fits up into the master cylinder so that way um, it won't uh, uh, fall out yeah pretty good so far I'm really happy with how this is turning out Here's a little knob in there, and I cut this to size, and now we'll pack it on and we'll see if it's the right length. There you go, that's the shot. So that's the original pin in with the new adapted uh, shaft. And then when the pin is in, I can actually tighten up the bolts. Right there. There it is. Mount it up. And if you feel the clutch, of course there's no hydraulic pressure at the moment, but you can see the new shaft. Let's see, one sec. master engage as well in the next video we'll be making the lines going to the clutch so we can get the clutch working but that's for a later date uh, for now this is good enough I'll also likely paint the little plate but that's off the camera because it's not really important uh, next up is making the hydro work because um, this these two lines these used to be the lines going to the right front and the right rear uh, brake calipers uh, I need to remake these lines because as you can see on this side it got pretty tight uh, the lines normally go here and they go under right there and it's basically next to the turbo and I don't want that so what I'm doing is I'm remaking the lines and the one that's going to the back is going to be going through the car uh, so why not add a hydro while I'm at it
this is what we've done so far. I shortened the e-brake that we had uh, right here and he welded it up and I made some plates, Yitz made some plates um, and I tacked it in at the same plate that the shifter mounts to. I also made a plate which is just saw for uh, the master cylinder or the e-brake cylinder and that will go right here with uh, some supporting tabs going in, in the back like that and we'll see if we can fit it up and see where we need to modify it and this will hopefully according to my scans and my CAD uh, this will be underneath uh, my center console I might have to trim up some bits but we'll see when we get there and uh, yeah so far pretty happy with it and this just uh, yeah this feels crazy in a in my own car at least As you might be able to see, this will be quite tight with the triangular piece in there too. So I'm gonna remove this uh, ring and I will weld that to this plate so it's easy to come in and out as well. And yeah, so pretty good. Should fit right up. I'm gonna mark it and then tack it and test fit again. So this is what I ended up making. Uh, I had to modify the master right here a little bit because it hit the bottom because this plate is slightly angled, which is on purpose of course. Uh, this bolt, I also cut it off a little bit shorter, uh, so it should now line up. And I welded these bolts in the back. So these are just basically studs and I just had to put a bolt over them and they'll be tight. Also added a little reinforcement plate here as well as the rib that you saw. Uh, so that way all of the force is directed into the plate which is bolted down to the chassis and the thing will be very stout it's like very very durable should be good let's get it in the car and see how it well, fits and yeah it should be done so far the only 
thing I need to do is uh, paint it of course, but I'll take it off a different time and uh, w make the lines uh, from the front of the car to the back. Yeah, so that's it. That's perfect. Still in the way of fifth gear, so won't hit that. Same with six, and I won't be pulling the handbrake in either fourth, fifth, or sixth because it would interfere. But I'm not planning to go that speed in this car. So first it's perfect, second it's perfect, and third it's also perfect. And I'm very happy with that. And of course I'm getting a. Uh, there's a color for this on the way. It shouldn't be a uh, host clamp soon. So yeah, pretty good. There it is again. You can still adjust uh, the length, which I just did. Right here with the pin, take the pin out, uh, rotate it this a couple of times, and then lock it with the nut. Um, one important thing to say, this uh, master cylinder is rotated 90 degrees. So this is going to be a pain to bleed, uh, but I am going to make the lines flexible. So when I do have to actually bleed it, I will be able to rotate this whole assembly 90 degrees. So it gets all the air out of the system. Uh, but I wanted it to be rotated uh, because I want the original center console to still fit over this, which I'll try next and we'll see about how it fits and uh, how much I need to cut out of it. So thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you guys next time.